自刘翔退役后啊，谢文俊便成为了中国跨栏项目的领军人物。他在100米栏比赛中呢，取得了不错的成绩，但是啊，较世界顶尖水准还有差距。想要在东京奥运会争夺奖牌，确实有难度。倘若想要重塑男子100米栏的辉煌啊，则是需要更多的年轻选手不断突破。而广东的曾建航一直被外界看好，他很有天赋，身体条件也是相当不错。曾建航在出战男子60米栏时，就展现出了不俗的竞技状态，最终以7秒55的成绩轻松夺冠。该成绩呢，也是曾建航的个人最好成绩。曾建航是国内第三位跑到7秒55高度的选手了。虽然有这样的成就啊，但是曾建航还是有很长的路要走。就拿60米栏来说吧，他离刘翔的成绩啊，还有很大的差距。刘翔曾创造了7秒41的全国纪录和亚洲纪录，曾建航、谢文俊到现在啊都还无法挑战这一成绩。而在男子，在去年2020年中国田协训练基地测试赛男子100米栏决赛，这次啊曾建航、谢文俊同场竞技，曾建航是否可以超越师哥谢文俊呢？比赛中， 2 1岁的曾建航充分发挥优势，起跑启动迅速，率先攻上了第一栏，前程领先谢文俊。但擅长后程超越的谢文俊很快在途中跨栏做出调整，有条不紊的加速反超曾建航。虽然实力不及谢文俊强大，曾建航仍然是以稳定的节奏跟着他， 0.12 秒的落后差距不算大。若不是遇上超风速，曾建航的成绩将在13秒45内。曾建航拥有着出色一流的身体条件，身高啊达到了一米九零，比刘翔高一点，跨栏不费劲出道之初的成绩呢就比较出色，因此啊被冠以“刘翔接班人”的称号。许多翔迷们也是期待曾建航迅速成长起来，接班刘翔。如今田径短跑项目啊，一百米、两百米的项目呢较为火热，也是比较吸引观众的目光，也是最为激情的。在室内200米跑道上啊，弯道起跑主要啊就是起跑要好。为了方便于弯道起跑后能够有一段直线距离进行加速，就在弯道右侧安装了起跑器。没有起跑器啊，应该在这个地方啊做出起跑姿势，方向啊对着弯道的切线方向。弯道起跑后，前几步啊应该沿着内侧分道线的切线跑。总的来说， 2 0 0米的项目总共分为四个阶段。一起跑和加速阶段，二正常跑阶段，三从弯道向直道过渡的阶段，四最后一百米技术。起跑和加速阶段，两百米跑啊是在弯道起跑，所以放置起跑器是个很重要的问题。起跑器的放置位置啊要对着弯道的切线，根据个人的情况调整好两脚之间的距离，要确保每次放置起跑器的位置都是一样的。一般来说呢，起跑30米之后就要进入正常跑阶段。当然了，这因同学们的速度、爆发力和力量等方面呢略有不同。在200米项目中，最后100米的时候啊是最关键的，越拼命的用脚蹬地啊，反而跑得越慢，而是要把注意力啊更多的放在保持好的跑动的技术动作上，特别是在最后50米，这个时候啊继续加速是不可能的了。如果还想拼命的跑啊，或者做出其他的错误的用力动作来，那就会造成肌肉的紧张，速度下降的更快了。所以这个时候最关键的呀，还是集中精力在尽力保持正确的技术动作上，不应该去考虑自己的位置、别人的情况，而是要注意摆臂，摆到合理的位置，努力使腿做出正确的折叠、积极的前摆等动作。然后啊，在最后掌握好冲线时身体下压的时机，这样才能跑出自己的最好成绩来。而在此项目中呢，国内也就是一个谢振业可以担起重任了。就好比啊，在2019年世界田径锦标赛男子200米半决赛，谢振业在第二组第六道出场，比赛枪响，谢振业 0.18 秒的反应时偏慢，他以往呢并没有如此慢的反应。诺亚莱尔斯啊，更是夸张， 0 2 0 8秒的反应时位列倒数第一。不过在下个弯道前啊，莱尔斯已经追到了第一名。谢振业紧随其后，从弯道切入直道后，莱尔斯的领先优势啊再度扩大。谢振业啊，并没有被他的节奏带乱，昆内诺茨也是逐渐的赶了上来。
，约在最后50米。莱尔斯已经是提前的锁定了小组第一，昆内诺茨的后程啊，还是要强于谢震燕。最终，谢震燕跑出了20秒 03， 位列小组第三，以半决赛总成绩第三位顺利晋级。同时啊，谢震燕也是首位闯入世锦赛200米决赛圈的中国选手，为他点赞。Lane three. The only well fastest out there, remember. Lane seven is blank. All the attention on Noah Lyles. Lane five. The second semi-final. Men's 200 meters. Remember the first two in each heat. Final. Two next fastest. Off and away, and remember Lyles in the centre in lane five. Got outside him,、uh, Xi Jianyi, and those two looking strong as they come round. Slingshot off that bend and into the home straight. No, Lyles is away and running. Quinones going well with him as well. It's Lyles and Quinones and Xi Jianyi. Lyles and Quinones will be the two automatic qualifiers at 19.86, and Lyles. Seem to be coasting for so much of that, totally in control, and he delivers a 19.86 time. Now that's in the top half dozen times of the year already. Quinones 19.95 per second, and Xi Jianyi、uh, raced out into third, but in 20.03, he'll be hoping he'll be lining up for the final. I think Quinones gave Lyles a little bit of a surprise there. I think he thought he would have had it more of his own way, made him work really hard for that. Pushed him the whole way to the line. He would have felt he'd get out of the block well, then get into his running a little bit of a lean into the bend, and then just transition into that straight. But Quinone was running that transition so well, and you see here, Lyles would have felt he'd pull away, but Quinone came right up on him. He would have felt all that pressure and having to go the whole superb race by Quinone to guarantee a place in the final. And, No, Lyles would have liked that to be a much simpler affair. He's run 19:50 this season. He had to work for it. Well, no, Lyles, this Kenyon has run really tight to his leg. 一直以来，田径百米竞争都是大家非常注意的项目，男女百米项目都愈演愈烈。在这里就得说一下，咱们女子百米飞人韦永迪是如今中国女子六十米纪录保持者。曾三次获得世锦赛女子100米、200米冠军。2 0 1 2年，韦永丽获得全国田径锦标赛四乘100米接力冠军，随后在2003年获得田径亚锦赛女子100米金牌。同年10月又获得东亚运动会女子100米、200米四乘100米金牌。2004年获得亚运会女子100米及四乘100米接力冠军。2015年成为首个入围世锦赛女子百米半决赛的中国选手。2016年获得全国室内田径锦标赛南京站女子60米冠军。她是当之无愧的中国女飞人。说到韦永丽，咱们就提一下与韦永丽相爱相杀的日本第一女飞人福岛千里。在100米四乘100米项目上，韦永丽和日本第一人福岛千里交手多次，其中韦永丽在这场亚洲顶级大赛上以 0.01 秒的优势击败福岛千里，胜利夺冠，宣告女子百米竞争中国处于上游水平。
。虽说韦永利在亚洲田径项目中表现都出奇的好，每次都能获得前三，就没这么简单了。就像是在2019年多哈田径世锦赛女子100米半决赛第一组中，韦永利第一组二道出场，同组有两大名将牙买加汤姆森和科特迪瓦塔楼Three Thompson four Charlu five Nita six Daniel seven Bass eight Lucas Kepler in nine. In theory, on paper, rough predictions. That's why we love watching live sport because so many things can change. Thompson of Jamaica in four Charlu of the Ivory Coast should be the winner in fifth of their place tonight's fight. Fastest. 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 Fast 韦永利跑出和预赛一样的11秒28位列第七，遗憾的是没有闯进决赛。We should have a little look, two looks even on her outside. Absolutely no need to do that. 10.87 seconds, just two hundredths of a second slower than last night, and that was her personal best equal in performance just 24 hours ago. This could be very, very special. This final. I guess the only thing you contemplate at this stage, looking at these two contrasting images of smoothness and aggression. Talu has run two of her quickest times in back-to-back -back evenings. Has she left enough for the final? Yeah, it's a game of strategy, isn't it? We always say we know what people are going to bring at come the semi.